Um, the question I wanted to ask was this. In the two years, uh, in the years before the coalition government, uh, a very significant amount of money came to the sector um, in the form of, uh, of hubs and capacity builders and future builders and so on, including quite a large slice to, um, to Stuart's uh, organization. And on the face of it, that ought to have put the sector in a, in a good position to have the capacity to deal with some of the strains now being put upon it. So I'd be interested in the views of the panel as to, as to what good came uh, from that very significant amount of public expenditure and what sustainable outcomes are now are, uh, arising from it. Stuart, um, this is one of the narratives that you recounted to us, the partnership, us, the partnership yeah. narrative from 97. Yeah. I mean, did it do any good? In terms of capacity building, uh, and infrastructure support. Um, I think there is some evidence that the investment in uh, advice and information, which is essentially what that was, did improve the capacity of organizations, principally small to medium-sized organizations. Large organizations tend to buy that capacity in the marketplace anyway. Small to medium-sized organizations can't. There's some evidence that that's true. But I think uh, since that period, uh, two things have happened in relation to infrastructure. The first is where possible infrastructures start to thought, think about earned income as an alternative source in order to sustain itself. Secondly, there is the beginnings of, and I think there will be the continuation of the rationalization of infrastructure. The way in which we provide capacity building is actually changing, it has to be done in a different way. And just, I'll close on this point, this has to be more technology based, that actually, um, it, 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 the traditional model of capacity building, which is, I've written the book, come to the conference, I'll tell you how to do it, go away and do it, is not the only way of doing this. That are actually are about peer-to-peer -peer learning on electronic platforms, which I think is going to be the shape of capacity building in the future. So Roger Singleton there, I see, uh, and a question at the front as well, please, Jenny up on Chris Kelly's specific question about capacity builders. I was a director of, of capacity builders and the question that was left certainly in my mind was the extent to which funding if I may say so national and regional and sub-regional infrastructure bodies actually facilitated and helped charities at the front line. I don't think we ever really uh, bottomed that one.